Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and this is the kickoff to May's 30-day challenge, which for me is once again going to be a physical challenge, and I'll talk about it in a minute. But first, I want to talk about this whole 30-day uh, challenge thing and, and why I, I chose to do it. Just a little bit of a recap. I'm getting older. We all are. And I look back at, at my history of not being in especially good shape, and I'm not, I'm not proud. I'm not proud of, of how I looked and how I felt. And getting into better shape seems to be a little bit harder with each passing year. And I feel at age 54, I'm kind of running out of opportunities to, to get in the best shape of my life. And that's my goal here in, in this year is to get into the best shape of my life. And one of the things that I still need to take care of, even though I, you know, I've lost some weight, uh, I'm feeling a lot better, I'm feeling a lot healthier, you know, I still got, you know, a little bit going on down here, you know, around the girdle. A lot of that is sort of just dangly skin left over from when I was heavier. And I think I could probably burn that off via autophagy and doing some extended fasts. And that will be easier to do once we become empty nesters again in this house probably in June. So likely there will be some sort of fasting challenge coming up in, in future months. But the other thing that I, I want to do is see if I can't start burning this off with a little bit of high intensity interval training. And to that end, what I'm going to do for my challenge for the month of May is I'm going to start getting up a little bit earlier, you know, probably sometime between five and six in the morning and get out and first do a series of sprints and then follow it up with about an hour of walking. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe that in a little bit more detail. First off, the sprints. The sprints are based off of a cadence of sprints from the book, The Wild Diet by Abel James, which I read back in 2016. He's really sort of on the paleo uh, spectrum of low carb. And I got the book, didn't really follow the paleo, didn't really follow the wild diet. But what I did try and do is some of the sprints. And the problem is here in Wisconsin, there's not a lot of great months for getting up at six in the morning to go out and run because it's often below freezing, which to me is just not awesome. But uh, I did the sprints anyway, and maybe calling them sprints is giving them more credit than they deserve because the first one, well, let me, here, let me back up for a second. Here's how it works. You have one minute of stretching and warm up. So I, I would do active stretching. And in next week's video, I'll show you what all of this looks like. But one minute of active stretching and then 10 intervals of sprinting. 20 seconds on, so 20 seconds just sprinting full out, if you can do full out. And then 10 seconds of walking and trying to get your breath back a little bit. And you would do that 10 times and then finish with one minute of warm down, which for me was jogging, which basically by the time I hit about the second or third sprint, jogging and sprint look about the same. I, I would joke that if you took a, a picture of me, a still frame of me when I'm doing the sprints, it looked like maybe I was sprinting. But if you watched it in real time, it, it looked maybe like jogging. I mean, it, it kind of looked like running, but in slow motion. Think back to when in the 70s, if, if you were a child of the 70s like me, and we would play Six Million Dollar Man, and you'd be running in slow motion and, and making that noise, you know, that's kind of about the speed I was sprinting at. So I haven't sprinted now in six months because it's been winter in Wisconsin. Since the sprints are a set length of time, I measure my progress in terms of distance. And I, I know exactly how far I typically am able to sprint over the course of this six minutes of intervals. And I know what my world record is. And since I haven't done this in six months, it will be interesting to see what impact, if any, the inspiratory muscular strength training that I was doing uh, as a challenge a couple of months ago, I'll link to that up there and, and maybe in the end card as well, did I improve my cardio enough by doing that, just sitting with this breathing device, that I'm going to see a difference in my sprints? It'll be interesting to see. What I typically do then after the sprints is I will walk for another 45 minutes to an hour. And this is a great chance for me to listen to an audiobook. 
My Audible library, I just went and I, I looked at it. I have 92 audiobooks that are either unstarted or in progress. So I have thousands of hours of audio to listen to. And this is a great way for me to do that while simultaneously getting some steps in, getting a little bit of exercise. Now, I don't plan on doing any more extensive running than just these sprints. I don't know how well my knees would handle it. I know there's a lot of debate about how good or how bad running is. If you enjoy it, then by all means do it. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing on running or cardio in general. I just find that for the most part in life, the ability to run long distances doesn't have a lot of practical application anymore. I think the ability to run short distances very quickly can have a practical application, and that's why I like the idea of sprints. But once again, if you enjoy doing longer distance cardio, then that's, and you're doing it because you enjoy it, by all means, do that. One of the reasons I've held off on doing this challenge until May is it's been below freezing every morning, and that's just, call me a wuss, but... I'm just not that keen on getting up and, and starting this challenge until we get at least above freezing. And it will be above freezing tomorrow, and it looks like, according to the extended forecast, it's going to stay that way. Not a bunch above freezing, but at least above freezing. My commitment for this 30 days is, regardless of the temperature, regardless of the weather, I'm going to get out and, at the very least, do the sprints. If it's raining and just above freezing... I'm probably not going to be interested in walking for an hour, but I will get out and do the sprints. And the thing that's helped motivate me and will keep motivating me to get out even when the weather is crummy to do these sprints is I'm currently reading this book, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. This is a powerful, powerful book about sort of mind over muscle and getting the most out of what you can do, what you can do with your body that you just don't believe or most people will never believe that they can do. I'm about a third of the way into this book and am absolutely loving it. I will say that if you have issues with profanity, including the prolific use of the F word, you should probably not read this because it is packed with that. But very inspirational. It's, it's a sort of book that's going to make you mentally tougher. I already feel mentally tougher and I'm, you know, just over a third of the way through. Throughout this month, I will be giving you updates in terms of all of my biometrics, you know, the standard stuff, weight, body fat, muscle mass, BMI, heart rate, blood pressure. Is there anything else? If there is something else, I'll, I'll let you know. I may even, depending on how I look at the end of all this, do a shirtless picture. No promises. I'm kind of I'm kind of bashful about that sort of stuff, but... If, if I feel like I'm looking good enough, then maybe we'll do a, a before and after shirtless picture. So now it's your turn. I would like to hear what you are going to do for your 30-day challenge. I would encourage you to do something physical. That way we're all doing something physical. Maybe you want to do something high intensity as well. Or maybe you just want to go out for a walk. Whether it's in the morning or after dinner with family. Your call. You let me know. I'll be curious to hear what you're doing. And curious to hear your results as we go through the course of the month. But that's it for this kickoff. Thanks for watching.